Hi everyone! Today we are doing another Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault Collection review. Uh, more like a first impression to be honest. Um, if you haven't seen my first video, I will link that up here. I reviewed the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which looks like this. Basically, I did not like this palette at all. I thought it was pretty bad. Um, a lot of the shades were just way too chalky, hard to blend out. They blended away and then they stuck in weird spots and it was just not a good situation. So. The thing is, now that I've got my other palette, and this is the Dark Magic palette, I haven't even taken out the plastic and it looks like this. So this is the very dark smoky eye one and looking at the colors, they're so nice. Like I really want this to work, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this new one because this is the old palette that I got. And if you can see this, there's a V2 down in the corner of it. And when I look at my other Morphe palette, there is there's nothing. There's nothing. There's just like a serial number. It doesn't say V2 at all, so who knows, maybe the V2 was the bad one and this is a good one, or both of these are going to be crap, but we are going to find out because we're going to play with this today. So what I'm going to do first, I think I want to just swatch this and see how it does. Not that swatches really mean all that much, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm just going by row now. Here's the first row all swatched, now onto the second row. So just on my first impression swatching these, they actually feel a lot better than the other palette and I think the swatches look pretty good, so I am more excited about this palette than I was after swatching the first one. So we will just see how these shadows perform. Maybe the fact that it doesn't say V2 on the palette means that I got a good one, who knows? I mean, none of this really makes any sense, so. So my plan is to do a grungy green smoky eye, so I'm going to dip into the green shade here first to start off, it's called Potion. And I'm gonna start off by putting this into my crease. And I'll be pulling this pretty high up because I am going to put very dark shades on my lids, so this is going to be my transition shade. Before I do anything else, I'm actually going to pack some powder under my eyes because I feel like there's going to be some fallout here. So already this green is blending out so much better than the green from the other palette. So that's a very nice surprise, I was not expecting that. And that makes me happy because those greens are actually like so similar. I know I forgot to say it, but I used my uh, MAC Paint Pot to prime my eyes with and then I just set it with a nude colored eyeshadow. So I'm having a little bit of issues here blending this out, but it does seem to blend out eventually, it just takes a little bit of work. So far so good on this shade, I'm actually quite impressed. I'm also going to run this on my lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to tap into Inside Job, which is this much darker green. And I'm also going to put that into my crease. Wow, the shade reminds me so much of the dark green in the Subculture palette, it's not even funny. So I'm gonna just work on blending this into the green that we already have put down. And I will be putting a green shimmer all over my lids, so this doesn't have to be super exact. I just want the transition here to be smooth. And this is blending out beautifully. I'm just dipping back into that lighter green shade now and just making sure that all the edges are diffused properly. And so far I'm really impressed with this palette compared to the other one that I have. This is looking so good right now and I'm like so excited about it because I was expecting to hate this palette. Next I'm dipping into Trickery which is this foiled metal green shade and I'll be putting that on my Morphe 224 brush. 
And already this shade is picking up on my brush so much better than it was in my other video. So I'm going to spray this and just pack it all over my lid. Wow. That is so pretty. All right, Morphe, I see you. I guess some of the palettes weren't that bad. Now keep in mind, this is just a first impression, so I would actually really like to do a 3 looks one palette with this, and I think I'm going to do that because this palette makes me excited and it makes me want to play, and so I want to play. Wow, that looks so good. All right, I'm just going to go back in again with that lighter green shade and blend out the edges where I put down the shimmer. All right, I'm going to wipe off my fallout here, which is really not much at all. For my inner corner, I'm going to dip into Power Cut, which is this kind of metallic, dark, silvery shade. I don't really know how to explain this. I spray this and I'm using my Morphe M149 brush. I'm just going to pop this into my inner corner and down on my lower lash line where I don't have any shadow yet. Alright, wow, I am so impressed. I love how this came out so much. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner in the shade of Mars. Just, just a dark green, which I need to sharpen first because I got nothing left on it. Alright, so I popped on a little bit of mascara as well, and I will be honest and say that I love this palette so much. Um, this one makes up for the fact that my other one was shit. Uh, so the fact that I spent $30 on two palettes, I'm okay with that now because honestly, if all the shades are as good in this palette, I would happily pay $30 for this one alone, so... I'm really happy I got this. I'm super excited to play around with it more. I, I am going to do a three looks one palette with this. I'm like so confused right now because this one didn't say V2 on it, whereas the first one that I did did say V2 and it sucked. So, I mean, I guess it's just the luck of the draw. If you happen to get a good palette, they're gonna be great. I mean, it's up to you if you want to gamble on these palettes. Uh, I guess I would say go into stores and see if you can swatch them if you're able to, because I feel like I can tell the difference just in the swatches which one is going to be good and which one's going to be bad because the bad ones, the shimmers are just not that great. Uh, they're, they're very hardly pressed into the pan, the same with the mattes, but the new ones feel a lot softer and not as hard pressed, which is obviously what they said they were going to fix. So, so I guess maybe they did manage to pull out some good palettes. I don't know what the whole spiel with this Becca suing Jaclyn Hill thing and if they actually did end up repressing any of these palettes or if they just got lucky with like half of the batch. Uh, who knows? But regardless, I'm happy with this palette. This one was so much better than the first one. I'm honestly a little shook and I hate saying the word shook because it's just so overused right now, but I'm very impressed. I'm surprised that I like it and I'm really happy that I do because now I got a palette that I'm actually going to use. So let me know down below if you guys have any of these palettes and what you thought of them. And if you're new here, I hope you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.